everyone welcome back to my channel what a week it has been like it has been a seriously mentally busy week um i have been away i have um been doing all sorts of exciting things and then i've gone back to work and i have uni stuff to do and an assignment to start working on and catch up on and it's just been insanely busy um but anyway i've got some really really exciting um new things to share with you this week so i have a whole stack of new books but before i tell you about my whole stack of new books i really really want to tell you about my weekend um because some of you that follow my videos regularly will have seen that um i was practicing my makeup for a couple of weeks um because i was going to see Cher and that was on sunday we went to see Cher at the o2 um for the first night of her uk uh, tour and she was absolutely amazing like it was one of the best experiences ever even though we sat like so far back and we weren't as far back as some people but we were pretty far back um it was amazing it was amazing just to see her be there have that experience it was wonderful we got all dressed up i had my extensions in i put my makeup on um i tried my best to look like Cher and i probably failed miserably but i mean i liked the look i thought it looked good um, I would have filmed my videos like that but then you guys wouldn't have got to hear all about Cher and I wasn't done reading books and um, so maybe I'll do it one day, I don't know but I really, um, I really loved it, it was an amazing experience and of course it meant that I was in London so me and my best friend Heather we went to see Cher and then we had Monday in London and we were doing all sorts of things like we did all the normal things you do when you go to London we went to see the Disney store on Oxford Street even though I've been loads of times but it's like a happy place, I love it there um, and you get to look at everything, it's just so amazing, they've got brilliant stuff in there, and we went to Primark, uh, because you know, Primark is, you have to go to Primark, like wherever you go, you have to go to Primark, it's like a rule, and then um, we went uh, to Waterstones, because I've never been to um, Waterstones in London, and they have their flagship store there, and it has six floors of books, I mean like, what's not to love, uh, so went in there to have a look, and uh, to get a book, which um, actually, I'm really unprepared, um, but I will show you. Um, I should have got it down off the shelf, so I'm going to get it down off the shelf. Um, I really want to show it to you, like, because it's like, it's not lesbic and it's not got anything to do with lesbic, but it's about women and it's for women and it's a brilliant book, so I want to share it with you. Um, like, off the record, because I'm not going to, well, I might review it on here, I don't know, I might include it, because, you know, it's a, it's a book for women, it's about women, so, yeah, I might do it. Um... Yeah, we went to Waterstones, we had a look around, we had to go to Hamley's because somebody had never seen the Harry Potter stuff there. Um, I know absolutely nothing about Harry Potter, so I was completely embarrassing the whole time, like especially outside the Harry Potter store at King's Cross, because I'm asking her what everything is, and she's the world's biggest Harry Potter fan, so she wasn't too impressed with me. Um, but then, you know, I Harry Potter was never really my thing, and I haven't gotten into it, and I'm sure I'll really like it when I do, but I just don't have the time. Um... So yeah, she was super psyched, like going to see all the Harry Potter stuff everywhere, and I was just super psyched out by the bookshop. But because we were in London, and I've never known this before, and because obviously I only started reading like Lesbic two or three years ago when I discovered it with some Swan Queen fan fiction, um, I didn't know you had bookstores for this. So we actually uh, took a nice leisurely walk in from King's Cross where we were staying into the centre of London, and on our way we went past Gay's Word, which... Um, I had to go into because I had to go and buy a book um, that I well that I wanted after I saw that a certain someone Claire Lydon had been there two days before like seriously for timing um, I was like oh you can go on Monday when I'm there um, but we went in um, because I hear I've heard a lot of you talking about it and sharing about it and saying about it uh, Claire being one of the ones who was always saying about it and giving it a shout out and I thought, well, I want to go, I want to go and have a look. And it's just, if you've never been, it's a lovely little bookshop in London um, that sells all sorts of LGBT fiction and books about LGBT culture. And um, it's just a lovely, friendly little atmosphere. I had a great time there. I really, we weren't there for too long, but we just had a really, really nice time having a look at all the books and meeting everyone and having a chat and everything. And yeah, so I definitely recommend if you're in London, like, it's not even that far, if you're right in the centre, it's not even that far, you can like literally trek out there for like 10 minutes, it's totally worth it. Um, so we went there and I, you know, I had to buy a couple of books, you could not buy a couple of books obviously, um, and so I have a couple of those to show you. So this week I've had so much going on, like, like I say, I've had a really busy week and I've still got stuff going on, I've got uni stuff to do now and catch up this and catch up that, like no wonder I get no writing done, um, and I am trying to get as much reading done as I can. 
around everything else that I'm doing. Um, but uh, I got quite a few inquiries for books this week, and I, I, I'm overwhelmed with the amount that I got. Um, so I got review copies of books, an early review copy of a book, um, and I got a book for free, and then I bought some paperbacks. So there's quite a list, so bear with me. Um, so this week I got a review copy of Embracing Forever by Kay Ayton. So that follows on from Running From Forever and is part of that series. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what that's all about. Um, I got an early review copy of Borage by uh, Jill McKnight, which is a Dirt Road Books um, arc and will be out soon. So I'm looking forward to reading that. Um, I got a copy of Beyond the Checkpoint by Addison M. Conley. Again, I'm really excited to check that out, see what it's all about. Um, Addison's a new author for me. I haven't read anything uh, by her before so I'm really really looking forward to checking it out um, I got a copy of Courting Light by A. Zukowski. again a new author for me I'm really really excited to check this out um, and see what it's all about um, and then I got a copy so um, for any of you that are really savvy and on it with your um, Amazon you will know already but for those of you that don't if you're really interested in checking this out um, Claire Lydon has got her first book in the London Romance series, London Calling, and you can download it for free until the 28th of October. So naturally, I went and got myself a copy of that because I haven't read a lot of the early London series because it was out before I discovered the whole genre and everything. So I'm playing catch up now. Um, so I got a copy of London Calling by Claire Lydon and that then followed on nicely with my purchase that I got from Gaze the Word, which is This London Love by Claire Lydon. So I bought the paperback of that uh, because Claire had been in literally a couple of days before I went and you'll all see there she was signing some books. So I went to get one naturally because that's what you do um, and I was super psyched to buy it and then they're having a chat with me and saying oh Claire was here the other day and I was like I know I messaged her I said why why not when I'm there um, but that's awesome and I love that uh, so whilst I was also at Gaze the Word there were so many authors on the shelf that I have met read their books already and there were so many as well that I have never met never heard of and never seen their books and so um, I was so tempted by so many but I was traveling by train and the problem with traveling by train as you all know is that when you're traveling by train you're limited by how much you can take with you really and I already had bags that I'd taken because you know it took a lot of effort to try and look like Cher um, and I had a lot of baggage with me um, so I can I can buy too many um, so what I decided to do because I just wanted to buy another book I bought Secret Hearts by Radcliffe because I'm one of these people I until I went to a Bold Strokes event a couple of years ago um, I had no idea who Radcliffe was yeah I know it's really bad isn't it and then everyone was saying to me oh you know if you want Radcliffe's book she's you know she's here from America and and I still had no idea who anyone was talking about and then obviously there's a lot of hype and stuff and then I read a short story um by Radcliffe in one of the um, in one of the erotic collections. I think it was Stasia Seaman and Sandy Lowe's um, Girls on Campus. If I remember rightly, it was. And I read the short story by Radcliffe, and I really liked it. So I wanted to try some more. So I decided to buy Radcliffe whilst I was there. Yeah, when in Rome and all that. So I bought Secret Hearts and uh, This London Love from Gaze the Word, and then they gave me this cute little bookmarky thing as well. Um, and it's got a little map on the back as well shows you how to get to the store so I will never get lost not that I got lost the first time but I will never get lost if I try again from a different direction because I have a little map now um, but yeah it's really cute and they were really like I say really friendly really lovely so if you're in London um, go to the store check it out grab yourself a book and then god this is the longest new books video I think I've ever done um, and so this is a new book, but it's not a new book because I told you about it last week because I have a review copy, which I will read as soon as I can. But Emma Sterner Radley has a new book out and it's kind of a rule with me that if Emma Sterner Radley or Amanda Radley, A.E. Radley have a brand new book out, it's one of the first things I buy because I just, I am such a huge fan of them and I love their work. And this is, from what I've heard, a really special book. So I had to have the paperback naturally. Uh, so I have Pining and Loving by Emma Sterner Radley. Here it is in the paperback format. Like I was going to say in the flesh, but it's not really in the flesh, is it? Uh, but here it is in paperback format, and it just is so lovely. It's, I think, 
it's one of the most beautiful books Emma's ever produced. I just love it and that's just the cover and everything. So I'm really looking forward to um, showing that and reading that and everything with an introduction video. So, like I say, this has gone on such a long video that even my computer has gone to sleep. I mean, that is so bad. Um, it doesn't usually. And, um, yeah, like I say, long video. Like, seriously, I've just had to log back into my computer. That's so unprofessional. Um, so, this is the longest ever new books video. I had loads. I'll just read through the list again because I've been wittering, wittering, wittering. Probably like, shut up, Carol. Um, so, um, I got a copy of Embracing Forever by Kay Ayton, Borage by Jill McKnight, Beyond the Checkpoint by Addison M. Conley, Courting Light by A. Zukowski, uh, London Calling and This London Love by Claire Lydon, Secret Hearts by Radcliffe, and Pining and Loving by Emma Stern Radley. Bye. And so because my computer went to sleep, and then I just totally forgot because I've just said goodbye to you in the last video, so I'm going to attach this one onto the end of that video because it's like make it even longer. I totally forgot to show you the book that I got from Waterstones. I got completely distracted. Um, so from Waterstones I got It's About Bloody Time, period, by Emma Barnett. Um, and the worst part was I had to ask, I had to ask somebody to go and find this for me because I couldn't find it on a shelf and um, and then I couldn't find it in the section I thought it was going to be in and then like I was like, please, like, have you got this book? This is what I've come in here to buy. Um, I am super, super excited to read this. It looks brilliantly funny. Um, and when I do, so like comment, obviously, like comment on this video, let me know. Do you want me to video review it? I'd love to video review it. It's probably gonna take years for me to read it, by the way. So like, don't get your hopes up that it's gonna be anytime soon. But it just looks so funny and I can't wait. I even read a few little sneak peeky bits out of it um, on Monday night and I was just, I was howling with laughter. It was so funny. Um, so yeah. That's what I went to Waterstones for. Me, Waterstones, you know, looking for a normal book um, about, you know, because it's so normal. Um, and it was just there on the shelf, you know, normally. And I missed it completely. Um, and sent some poor assistant at Waterstones off to find this really embarrassing book. And I really can't wait to read it and share it all, like, as... I'm just really super excited by this book like if you haven't seen the bits about it or if you haven't come across it go and look it up because you know it's a woman thing um but yeah I, I really can't wait to check this out either so now that's tacked on the end of this new books video that is all the new books I got this week and that's like loads I know so enjoy bye